Okay, we got something. And I just was getting ready to move this line back. Saw it barely wiggling. I'm gonna start backing up though, because I don't want to lose it in the wash. Come on, whatever you are. Oh, I got doubles. That other guy just pulled in doubles. Oh, a double bluefish. Don't know if they're legal size. We'll have to see. It, they look small. They look small. Okay, dudes, whatever. Okay. But on our fishing girl float rigs, the red ones. Let's see what this dude is. The other guy's probably the same. Okay. Lord. Calm yourself down. Oh yeah, he's only like 10 inches to the fork. So we'll get some selfies with him. We'll get him back. This was like a structure in the water that was just different, but it's moving. So it might be a pot of fish or bait fish or something. So I'm gonna try throwing to it with my artificial. Let's see if maybe we can't hook up on something cool. Well, my set rigs are just setting. They're, they're doing nothing, but yeah, this is moving. I do believe it's some kind of fish action though, because it is moving and it's changing and morphing. Okay, that's pretty good. That's the thing with lures is you may have to throw like 20, 30 times to get, to get a bite. And fan out over a certain area. Yeah, see that's moving down there. It's gotta be fish. I don't wanna go too far away from my set rigs though. And I haven't felt a bite at all. So I'm gonna head back to my set rigs. Well, the tide's coming up and I'm not getting any bites. So we are moving to a different beach. I'm not sure exactly where yet, but I wanna be by 10 o'clock, which is just in a little, about an hour. I wanna be set up at a uh, high impact beach, like Flagler or Varn Park, somewhere like that. So we're gonna get back to the car, see what we can find. Well, we found our next location and this water is beautiful. So I'm gonna get set up, not wasting any time. Let's get to fishing. All right, it's that time. I'm gonna, for the first time since fall, <laughs> I'm throwing out the go fish cam because the water has warmed up a bit and uh, it's pretty calm today, so I feel good about throwing it out there. All right, here we go. Yes. I should be out far enough to see something, I hope. So the cool thing about being able to throw the go fish cam and keep track of the timing here is you get to see what's on the other side of the line that you don't usually get to see we're gonna see that displayed today in this footage, but I've got some cool things here. First of all, we have some little glass, I believe these are glass minnows. If you know what these are, let me know. This is the first time we've seen them on the video, but look, we got a bunch of them there. They were actually throughout the whole video, so I just kept a, a couple seconds here of those. Next up, we have something super cool right here. Look in the background here, we've got a stingray. Can't tell if it's an Atlantic or a Southern. I believe it's an Atlantic. Slowed it down here so you can come. He kind of comes up and takes a look at the bait and then the surf gets roughed and pushes him back and then he kind of decides to go off to the, to the right side of the screen there. Now check this out from the top left of the screen. You see a Spanish mackerel go across. Not only was this the first time we've seen Spanish mackerel, but he was coming from the direction of my other line about 35 minutes into the footage. And keep in mind what you're about to see next was about 38 minutes when I noticed my line was super slack. Let's see what this guy did to my rig. This line is very, very slack. I really hope that means popping it. 
could have been a shark bit it off. This is like, feels like nothing coming in. Uh, something bit it completely off. Yeah, there's nothing. I manufacture our Fish and Girl float rigs. We have these for sale in our store at fishing-girl.com. We make these in five different colors. We have the floats, as you can see, they are right on the hooks. And underwater footage, a lot of times they're sucking in the floats before they're sucking in the hooks in the bait. And the good thing about me manufacturing them is if they're not in stock, I will make more, fill the order, we'll get it out to you right away. So check those out, but now back to the video. Finally, we have something. Yeah, it's on there. Hopefully better than a bluefish. It is swimming pretty good. Coming in on the waves there, you can see it. It is cutting, it's cutting. Please be a pompano, please be a pompano, please be a pompano. Oh, it's a pompano, but I think it's too little. It would be my first pompano of the year, though. Look at him, though. He's not bad. He's not bad at all. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for this pompano. Thank you for this pompano. Check him out. He looks too small. We'll try. We'll measure him. 11 and a quarter. That is like... He's over 11. Man, it was fun to get my first Pompano 2024. Woo! Pompano! Anyways, thanks for watching. If this makes it to YouTube and if you've made it this far, <laughs> he is flapping around in there. I'm gonna take him to get a uh, weight in for a uh, year long tournament with our sport fishing club. Uh, anyways, as always, tight lines. God bless, and we'll see you.